Hello, YouTube. Feature not here. Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. So I thought I would start a new series for Duna in my latest career game. Um, in this episode, we're going to be sending some probes to Duna to get some science and to fulfill the contract. Um, hopefully, well, the plan is to do a few more episodes for um, a station around Duna, a base around Duna, and who knows what else. I uh, guess I'll kind of play it by ear. But anyway, as you can see, I am using a space plane to launch my my uh, probes. Um, I haven't been into space planes for very long. I'm not really very good at them. Um, and I'm not sure if they're really as advantageous as I thought they were. Uh, part of the reason I like using space planes is because it's cheap uh, to launch cargo. Once you get the space plane back to the to the uh, runway, you can recover it for the full cost of the airplane minus the fuel, so your launch only costs fuel. Um, that being said, I haven't run the numbers and I haven't looked real closely. I don't know if it's much cheaper to do it this way or not, but on the other hand, I do enjoy it. And I apologize for any uh, throat clearing or coughing. I am suffering from a uh, chest cold right now. And as you can see through the magic of editing, I you didn't have to watch most of the launch. <laughs> so if you look closely you can see I'm actually launching two probes as the same ship um, one of them is going to be a main, uh, communication satellite and the other is going to be a lander <clears throat> uh, one of the mods I do use on this is I believe it's called antenna range so each of your uh, science dishes and antennas have a sp specific range and outside that range they don't work unless there is another antenna that's in, in range to the one that's on the uh, on your current ship that actually has more distance in this case as you can see I've got three of the big antennas or dishes on the top and then the bottom one only has a, a antenna I think it's a communitron 16 or something like that I can't remember um, but also of note, this is my first interplanetary ship or probe powered by uh, ion propulsion. Up until this uh, this career save that I'm running now, I almost never used ion propulsion, and I'm not quite sure why. I mean, it does have a couple drawbacks, but it's quite well. It it works quite well. Um, Now that I've used it, I like it, but one of the drawbacks came back to bite me in this particular, uh, when I was doing this mission. Uh, I should have launched it with my orbit going the other way, so I would have been bur burning towards the sun, or while I was in the sun. Um, but I didn't, so I ended up doing, I think, four burns to get out of Kerbin's sphere of influence. <laughs> I'll remember that next time. But anyway, uh, all this fidgeting with my node actually made almost no difference because I this first burn only got me maybe halfway to the month. <coughs> but I think it's kind of cool to watch it with uh, time acceleration anyway, with the video sped up. So if you haven't noticed, I do play with mods. Um, at any particular time, I might have a lot of mods. I might have a few. Um, I tend to look at mods and see what I like and see what I don't like and add them in and try them out. And every once in a while, I have to clear out my game data folder because I'm running so many mods. I uh, I can't remember what stock anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but uh, one of the latest mods I'm running was on that uh, on that space plane and it was uh, adjustable landing gear which I have found very very handy if you haven't got it go look at the uh, KSP forums and check them out 
So as you can see, I kind of used arrow breaking at Duna, but I didn't get deep enough into the atmosphere, so I ended up uh, bringing my orbit down with just engines, which isn't a big deal because I had a ton of fuel left. So here I'm just modifying my orbit, trying to get one that's not exactly on the equator so I can stay in the sunlight as much as possible. Oh, and one thing you can't really see in the video, um, I should have braced those uh, docking ports because when I went into uh, physical time acceleration while I was doing burns, I could only go to two times acceleration and keep it smooth. Otherwise, with uh, the way that's designed, the docking ports started, I don't know, flexing. But uh, yeah, I'll remember that for next time. But here we've separated the lander, so we've got our communication satellite in uh, in orbit. So it'll be able to relay the the science back to Kerbin. <clears throat> and the funny thing is, is this is probably the first probe I've ever landed on Duna. Every time I've gone to Duna before, it's always been manned or curbled, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So here pretty soon you'll see that uh, I probably should have put a few more parachutes on it because when I come down, I do come down a little faster than intended. Of course, I do do a, a suicide burn, but with an eye on, with eye on propulsion, there's not much to, uh, not much thrust available there. That, and I'm not exactly landing in a good spot either. And there you go. So at this point I'm trying to figure out, should I just leave it because I can get to all my science stuff, or should I try and get it back on its legs? I sat there for a minute trying to decide, and then I decided to try. Let's see if we can get it on our legs. I do have uh, the small reaction wheels on this, so I do have a little bit of, uh, I, I do have some pretty powerful controls. Now, if this was Mun or Minmus, there's no problem. It would have flipped right over, but we're on Duna, so it doesn't work quite as well. But somehow, I luck out with a KSP glitch or something, and it knocks me upright, so. And I can't even remember what uh, what kind of science stuff I have. Is that a grab? Uh, I can't see. While I'm doing the commentary, my uh, I only have a really small screen to look at, so I can't see the details very well. And I'm not sure if I was actually if I actually transmitted the thermometer reading, so I do it again. So anyway, that's fulfilling the contract that we had for Duna. So uh, stay tuned. My next uh, my next episode is probably going to be uh -huh. building a uh, building a station for Duna in orbit, and uh -huh. I might even get to uh, taking it to Duna. So uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. See you later. <laughs>